Paragraph 9 has to do with the budget. Paragraph 10 is whether there's whether whether the uh, common expenses are being increased. And you know, usually the most important clause is hidden in the middle of a legal document. That's what we do to trick people. It's just they teach us that in, in law school. So you go to in this particular case is paragraph 12. Now, this is something that I talk about in every speech that I talk about, about status certificates. You must pay attention to this because this is a huge trap for people. So let's just read it very carefully. The corporation has no knowledge of any circumstances that may result in an increase of common expenses for the unit, except Condominium Corporation has no knowledge of any circumstances that may result in an increase in common expenses for the unit. All right, now here's the example. Seven days, this is an example. The life doesn't happen like this. I've compressed it down to make the example. So January 1st, somebody notices a leak in your garage. January 2nd, the engineer comes in and says to the property manager, who's with the engineer, uh, you know, this could be serious. I'm going to have to take the test results back, but this might be a five or ten million dollar problem you've got here. I don't know, but it might be. The next day, purchaser purchaser's lawyer requests a status certificate. The next day, the condominium corporation issues a status certificate in paragraph 12 after the word accept, there's nothing. So let's read paragraph 12 again. The corporation has no knowledge of any circumstances that may result in an increase in common expenses. Now, the next day, the purchaser buys the unit and the next day, the engineer delivers his report, which says that indeed there is a $10 million problem that needs to be fixed in the, in the garage. And on the 7th, there's a board meeting where the report is, is given to the board of directors. And after they pick them up off the, off the floor, they have to decide what they're going to do about that $10 million problem. And on January 8th, what do they do? They levy a special assessment. They levy a special assessment, and each unit has to pay $50,000. And if you think that special assessments aren't levied for $50,000 in condominiums in Toronto, you are incorrect. Because I've seen special assessments for more than $50,000 in condominiums in Toronto. So this does happen. Now, the question becomes, the special assessment wasn't levied until after this guy closed. And the board of directors didn't know about the extent of this problem until after this guy closed and after he got his a status certificate. So should he have to pay the special assessment? Should he have to pay? Was the status certificate correct? On January 4th, when it was issued, did the condominium corporation have any knowledge of any circumstances that might result in an increase in common expenses? Just how many people say yes? How many people say no? Okay, people said no, you're wrong. Okay, why? Because on this day, January 2nd, the engineer said to the manager, who is an agent of the condominium corporation, and therefore the condominium corporation is charged with the knowledge of the manager, who should have reported it back to the directors immediately, but in any event, knew when they issued the status certificate that there were circumstances that the corporation had knowledge about that may, not would, that may, okay, may. And that's how wide that provision is. And that's why you have to read those status certificates, number one. Number two, every time a, 
uh, request for a status certificate comes in as a manager, you have to think about every single clause, but for sure you have to think about that clause.